hundreds of butterflies have taken flight in the botanical gardens at the Springs Preserve. Guests can experience the beloved animals up close and personal and walk away with a greater understanding of why butterflies are important to our environment. The seasonal butterfly habitat opened with a special ribbon cutting and ceremony that included a butterfly release. Children with the Make-A-Wish Foundation were a flutter with excitement as they released 500 butterflies inside their new living quarters, a state-of-the-art 2,000 square foot butterfly habitat. Set in the 110 acre botanical gardens, the Springs Preserve is the ideal place to showcase these remarkable creatures. Butterflies are truly amazing insects. They are found on every continent but Antarctica. According to the National Wildlife Federation, there are an estimated 20 to 25,000 different species. Butterflies are drawn to the warmth, which is why many find their way to the Las Vegas Valley. Butterflies are often called a garden's best friend because they are important pollinators. Like bees, they help spread pollen to other plants for healthy garden propagation. Visitors to the Springs Preserve's butterfly habitat will learn even more spectacular facts about the butterfly, including its life cycle, specific plant species that help sustain them, and even how to establish a butterfly habitat at home. The habitat in the botanical gardens features a broad range of native and exotic butterflies and moths. Springs Preserve's resident zoologist, Thomas O'Toole, helped to carefully select species for the exhibit and conducted research to ensure the constructed habitat would protect the animals in their new home. And we were in the planning uh, process for a few years for this exhibit, so um, in, in, close, uh, in, in close partnership with USDA, just make sure that, uh, that we meet all the, uh, the requirements and stuff for keeping these animals. I mean, butterflies, as beautiful as they are, USDA considers them agricultural pests. So the main consideration is making sure that we keep the animals releasing the habitat inside the habitat. We've got uh, full-time zoology staff here that, that takes care of all of our living collection animals um, uh, by the zoo exhibits and now for our new residents here, the, the butterflies. Right? And that's, that's all the food preparation, the feed out, the, the daily observations and monitoring. Nevada is home to more than 220 species of butterflies, but not all of the butterflies in the habitat at the Springs Preserve are native. We're planning here at Springs Preserve on showcasing a variety of different species of North American and exotic butterflies. Um, we get these animals from different butterfly farmers here in the United States, and so since we're doing a, a seasonal exhibit, uh, a lot of that's based on the av availability of different species. So, um, and we started off with, with two different species here for, for the grand opening, and then we'll be changing that up week to week or month to month throughout the season to, to give guests a, a reason to keep coming back. The butterfly habitat will open each spring and fall as temperatures allow. Since butterflies from different parts of the world will be exhibited, careful attention is given to the habitat to ensure the lifespan of these wondrous winged creatures. The Springs Preserve planted an array of native plants in the habitat to sustain the life of the butterflies and added various sources of water. Well, we really focused in on a plant palette that was, that was specific for the butterflies, things that they would eat and interact with. A lot of flowering plants because the butterflies really you know, feed on those things. And, and then there were certain things that we couldn't plant as well, things that, um, that would encourage them to, to uh, lay eggs and, and those kind of things. We had to stay away from those kinds of things, but yet at the same time create an environment where they would interact with the plants and feed. You know? And so, uh, so it was an opportunity to really create a, a horticultural exhibit, lots of flowers, a lot of work went into the soils and irrigations, but you don't really see any of those things going on, but it, it feels very nice in here. The atmosphere feels very natural and uh, with a lot of the plant material that it's, uh, the butterflies like. It's easy to create your own butterfly habitat. All you need is food and water. For food sources, plant type and color are important. Butterflies especially love nectar producing flowers with red, yellow, orange, pink, or purple blossoms. And it's best to plant native varieties like milkweed, butterfly bush, and blanket flower. Butterflies are known to take a break in their journey to quench their thirst. They prefer a place to perch while taking short sips, so supply a shallow source of water in your landscape, such as a bird fountain. The key to enticing butterflies into your landscape is to incorporate plants that serve the needs of all life stages of the butterfly. The insects need places to lay eggs, food plants for their larvae, places to form chrysalids, and nectar sources for adults. Adult butterflies generally feed in the sun, 
so plant your sun-loving flowers where there is less shade. Luckily, sunshine is plentiful in southern Nevada, giving human spectators the best chance to see these incredibly important and beautiful creatures in action. Visitors and members of the Springs Preserve can support the ongoing operation and maintenance needs of the butterfly habitat by purchasing a bench plaque or engraved steel recognition butterfly. The sentimental artwork can serve as birthday, anniversary, legacy, or memorial gifts. Visit springspreserve.org for more details and to read about the butterfly habitat's seasonal openings and closures. Witness butterflies as they soar with greatness in the new butterfly habitat at the Springs Preserve and learn all about their fascinating evolution. The habitat is open during normal Springs Preserve operating hours. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Jason Gifford.